hey all welcome once again to learn you saboni this side and i have come back with another exciting tutorial for you guys so here you can see that in this use case what i'm going to do is utilize a set of a combination of uh two different services which is sqs and sns in order to trigger my lambda function before going into the demonstration and uh, hands-on so i'm just going to talk a couple of time a couple of minutes maybe about sqs and sns so sns basically it's a simple notification service so aws provides this uh, where you can create certain topics and it's basically a publisher subscriber model where the publisher is going to publish their messages at the end of at one end of a topic and uh, there would be subscribers who are going to subscribe to that specific topic if they are subscribed at all they're going to receive that specific message in the form of a broadcast so here what happens in sns the messages are somehow pushed to the subscribed uh, subscribers rather but coming to the sqs it is basically provides you the simple queuing service it's the queuing flavor if you want to get hold of that you can definitely go for this one so it here what happens is there would be a, a source of message the message is if that specific message is published to one of the queues so there has to be a listener who is going to listen to that specific message and at a time there can be a one listener to a specific queue unlike the sns topics so here this specific configuration is completely based on pool based so in case you are using uh, the target as the the listener as a lambda function or any other service so there has to be a polling mechanism that is going to continuously check the topic if there are any messages and once the message is available it will try to pull that message and delete it from the topic else it will be uh, it will be acting as a redundant stuff altogether because if the message is not deleted then if another polar is active it will try to pull the same message so those functionalities and those configurations and all those stuffs can be discussed later while i will be uh, creating the tutorials for sns and sqs but for now what i am going to demonstrate is is a very basic example of a uh, fan out mechanism it's basically an architectural style when where an sns topic uh, ha as has multiple sqs queues as its subscription and on the basis of that on the basis of uh, different use case maybe a message filtering policies can be used in the subscription to filter the messages out to the different services different uh, target uh, queues and the queues would have certain triggers set maybe lambda function or any other different services you can that would be looking up to the topics in order to consume the message so in my current setup i have used a very simplistic diagram there is a single uh, topic that has a subscription uh, and which is subscribe which which is being subscribed by this specific sqs queue and the queue on receiving a message would perform uh, i have set basically a trigger for my test lambda function so whenever a message is available in the s published in the sns topic the queue would be receiving this message and while the queue receives that the lambda polar service would be available that will try to pull the message from the test queue our uh, sqs queue and that message would be consumed by the lambda functions okay so let's demonstrate that the first and foremost thing that i'm going to do is create a function while creating a function remember that the execution role should have sufficient permissions in order to read the messages from the sqs queue okay so for now what i did in my basic execution roles i have provided sqs all the i have allowed all the actions for to perform the sqs api calls uh, however you can it is suggested to go ahead with minimal permissions privileges that is to be provided to the role so here let's try to create my test func runtime i generally prefer python in the execution role uh, let's select this basic lambda role uh, let's view this basic lambda role before going while i create this function but the function is getting created quickly over here and let's go to the im console so here 
you see so it has the permission to create log groups as well as to create log stream and put whatever the log events okay and uh, here this is the policy part that I have included in order to allow all the SQS action on SQS resources but for and for my betterment for my uh, ease of development uh, of this use case I have provided the resource as star but that's not a suggested one once again I repeat that okay let's see my function is available okay so the thing that I'm going to do is I will just uh, print the event that I am receiving that the function is going to receive okay so let's head over to the SQS let's try to create an SQS queue so there are two flavors of SQS queues that are available one is FIFO another one is the standard so in case of FIFO if you want the ordering of the message to be preserved you can go ahead with FIFOs else for standard one so here the name that I'm going to give is test queue test queue coming below the, there are certain configuration stuffs that are available in case you want to limit the maximum uh, message size and if in case you want to delay the delivery once the SQS service receives the once your topic uh, queue receives the message from the SNS in case you want to delay it by a second that can also be done uh, message retention period so it's going to uh, retain the messages that configuration can be configured over here from one minute to 14 days and uh, there is a visibility timeout fun fundamentals as well uh, so at whenever a consumer is trying to consume the message and uh, the message is uh, so at that point of time you can set this visibility timeout so that any other listeners if it is trying to poll the message do not consume that specific message so we will gradually discuss about this functionalities later on coming to the access policies i'm not going to touch it so dead letter queue configurations nothing let's just simply create the queue and once my queue is available let's try to do one thing so here two things to notice while you select your queue there is an sns subscription that tells whether there are any subscription to sns is available or not and here is the lambda trigger the first part that i'm going to implement here is let's configure the lambda function trigger now let's from the drop down i can see my test funk is available let's save it so it's going to take less than a minute time and here in the lambda console as well you will be you can also try to add the sqs trigger by by clicking on add, add trigger so sqs is add as an event source here mapping here so you are just creating an event source mapping indirectly via sqs console and uh, it's going to read the messages that are available that are available in the queue okay uh, should we test this functionality yes uh, this functionality let's test it I will try to test SQS lambda okay and let's send message okay so once I click on the send message I will go to the CloudWatch logs to see if any logs got generated or not in for my functions yes it got generated and once I see the logs over here you see the AWS SQS is the event source over here so it's receiving the message and the entire message that has been sent the message body it's come it's available over here test SQS lambda and uh, this further you can place it in certain JSON beautifier and stuffs like that in order to notice the different uh, tags and attributes that are sent okay so it's basically a array of records that are sent now let's go to so my sqs to sns to lambda connection it's working fine now let's try to create an sns topic here so what is the name that i have given test topic let's create this test topic i will click on the next step once that is done so here as well for sns as well you are able to see there are two types of uh topics that can be created one is the FIFO another is the standard one so in order to strictly preserve the messaging order go for FIFO 
coming to the other functionalities i do not want to add anything else here let's create the topic my topic is ready now i have to link the sns to the sqs topic by using the subscription filter that's by using the subscription rather so create subscription i will select amazon sqs and here let's select test queue i can enable the raw message delivery so whatever raw message we are giving without any mm, transformation it will be received at the S sqs end subscription is created and the status is auto confirmed as you can see so there are different types of subscriptions that you can create it over here as you could see in the options so once i again i will like to show you here while you create the subscription there are different protocols so that's the beauty of using sns so you can directly invoke the sns uh, the lambda function as well using sns or even set up uh, email notifications and sms as well okay now let's perform a quick test over here and in the test topic let's publish a message See, testing from sns to sqs to lambda and let's publish the message the message has been published and if i go to the cloudwatch logs over here let's try to open the log and see if the message has been received or not and yes uh, as you can see here the body contains testing from sns sks to lambda this message of this gentleman over here this event payload is available so what what happened is sns on receiving the uh, message from my end from the ui it has sent it to the sqs and as uh, since the sqs is all subscribed to the sns topic on receiving that and also a trigger was set to the lambda function the function actually got hold of the record that is available in the queue and it processed it so you can try to find figure out different ways in your use case how this can be helpful there are numerous ways where uh, this use case can be utilized and as i mentioned earlier in case you are setting up with you using different uh, ways of uh, different uh, use case where you want to process the uh, common data that's available over the sns topic and you have different processing units altogether maybe different hundreds of lambda functions you can fan out correspondingly okay so that's one of the architectural style uh, that you can utilize and you can implement using this three uh, services i hope the tutorial was helpful to you please subscribe to the channel share and like my video and uh, let me know in the comments that I